Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is uh, more on solving systems of equations by substitution. And we're going to do a little bit of problem solving here. So uh, the problem solving is kind of spelled out at the end here. So uh, let's solve the system using the substitution uh, property or the substitution method here. So here uh, we have two equations, 5x plus 3y equals 21. And this one has... Uh, as x equals negative 5y plus 13. So what we're going to do is substitute in this x equals this stuff right here for that x right there. Okay, so I highlighted that in red. Okay, and I put parentheses there because inside this parentheses is going to be this stuff, negative 5y plus 13. So here I did it over here on the right. Then we're going to distribute. We're going to distribute the 5 through. So 5 times negative 5y is going to be negative 25y, and then 5 times 13 is 65. Okay, here's the plus 3y and 21. Right now, we're going to combine these like terms, negative 25y plus 3y. Okay, so when we do that, uh, negative 25 plus 3 is negative 22. Okay, plus 65 equals 21, and we're going to subtract off that 65 on both sides, and 21 minus 65. You just subtract those two numbers. I did that over here. I'd like the bigger number on top. 65 minus 21 is 44, except the negative is with the 65, so it's going to be negative 44. Okay, and then we're going to divide both sides by negative 22. A lot of kids, they lose the negatives, you guys. Don't forget there's a negative with that uh, 22, so we're going to divide both sides by negative 22 right there. And then uh, you get y equals 2 because a negative over a negative is a positive right here. And 22 times 2 is 44. Okay, we're not done yet. Don't think you're done yet. We got to put, uh, we got to figure out x. So we're going to go ahead and put y back up for the x equals. Here, x equals this stuff. So we're going to put y equals 2 right there. Okay, so there it's going to go right up there. Okay, well, we substitute that in. We get negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And then negative 10 plus 3 is, is, I'm sorry, negative 10 plus 13 is 3. I'm thinking ahead of myself. Don't forget, our ordered pair is always in xy form. So x comes first is 3, and then y is second is 2. Okay, there's the answer. All right, here's another one. You do it on this one. And just pause it. I just pause it right here, and then you try it, you guys. Okay, and now hopefully you paused and you tried. If you didn't, then um, <laughs> you didn't. All right, so we're going to go ahead and plug... Uh, uh, this x plus 2 in for that y right there, okay? So there it is right there, and then we're going to distribute the 2 through, so we get 2x plus 4. Don't forget about the x over here, and then we're going to combine these like terms. x plus 2x is 3x, okay? And then we're going to subtract 4 from both sides, and we're going to get uh, 3x equals 9. And then we're going to divide both sides by 3, and we get x equals 3. Remember, you're not done. you got to go find the other equation where it's y equals, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, so I'm going to plug that in right there. Okay, so put in 3, so y is going to equal 3 plus 2, and that's going to get us 5. Don't forget our answer is an always, always an ordered pair, x, y. So we're going to plug it in and get uh, x equals 3 and y equals 5. All right, okay, let's try this, you guys. A little problem solving here. A friend has lost his marbles. Yes, he has 36 marbles total, and some of them are red, some of them are blue. So our first equation is we're going to write an equation for the total amount of marbles using R for red and B for blue. Okay, so the number of red marbles plus the number of blue marbles has to equal the total right there, so 36. Okay, there's one equation right now. Now here, he has three times as many blue marbles as red marbles. Write an equation for this. Okay. So we're going to do um, either r equals 3b or, or, or b equals 3r. And, and whichever way you do it, just go back and check your answers. If you did it one way and you didn't get the correct answer at the end, then we just did it backwards, you guys. So it has three times as many blue marbles as red marbles. So every blue marble is going to count for three red marbles, okay? Uh, because there's three times as many. So each blue marble uh, ends up being three red marbles because there's three times as many. All right, and then, uh, so there's that equation right there. And then we're going to go ahead and substitute this equation, equation in two, to equation in one. So I'm going to put this 3r right there, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and solve. So there it is right there, r plus now 3r equals 36. Or combine the like terms, r plus 3r is 4r, so 4r equals 36, and 4 goes into 36 nine times. All right, and then we're going to plug in 9 right here. 
For R, to get B, we've got to figure out how many blue marbles he had. So B equals 3 times R, which is 3 times 9, which is 27. Okay, and now let's just make sure we answered the question correctly. So he has 3 times as many blue marbles. Is 27 3 times as many uh, of the red 9s right there? And I would say yes right here. So let's go ahead and answer the question. Whoops, let me slide that back down right there. So when we answer the question, we're going to have uh, 9 red marbles and 27 blue marbles. Okay, have some more of these in class too, you guys. Okay, take care.